hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl tiana back again with another video so you guys in today's video we are going to be making rasta pasta this is the first time that i'm attempting this so y'all gonna see how this come out how this turn out but i think i'm good i think i'm good because honestly i've made alfredo and it's kind of similar all you're doing is adding in some jerk seasoning so we're gonna see how it turns out but if this is your first time here go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below turn on all your post notifications so you do not miss any time i upload okay okay so let's get into it so right over here is all my ingredients right here so we got some uh monterey jack cheese and we have some parmesan cheese some penne pasta noodles the jerk seasoning i got mild because we didn't want it too spicy because eli still has to eat it we got some heavy whipping cream and we got some peppers you want the colorful peppers because it's going to give it that you know rasta look okay and then we got our chicken tenderloins i don't got too many of those because we ain't making a lot we just making enough for me and eli and we are also going to be making fried chicken so i have my little wingettes right here and um we're gonna fry that up because i know a lot of y'all have been asking me to show y'all how i make my fried chicken so i'm going to show y'all in this video as well so y'all just stick around and we about to get this started okay all right y'all we're gonna season the chicken first so we could put that to the side and let it marinate for a little bit i finally got what i need so you're gonna need some worcestershire sauce and this is really gonna help with marinating the meat and it's gonna bring out all those flavors y'all i was supposed to been have this in my house and for some reason i kept forgetting it at the grocery store because this is um another ingredient that i normally use for my meats so i made sure that i didn't forget it this time so we're gonna put a little bit of this on the chicken and this is our fried chicken so we just want to put a little bit of that up there and then we're gonna season so whatever season is y'all like i like garlic powder so i'm gonna put some of that on it some onion powder some of that some all-purpose seasoning some sazon put some of that up there some black pepper Okay, some adobo. And some complete seasoning. Love the complete seasoning. So put some of that on it. And we're gonna put some mustard in there as well. Generous amount. Put a little bit of paprika for a little bit of color for that golden brown look. That's gonna help give it that golden brown look. And then we're gonna give it a toss. We're gonna toss it up, mix it up. I don't feel like getting my hands dirty, y'all. So normally I would just mix it up with my hands, but this will do. So you just wanna mix it to so evenly coat it. Just like that. That looks beautiful so they should look like this and then all we're gonna do is cover it with a little bit of aluminum foil until we're ready to drop them in the grease because I want to get the rock the pasta on and cover it with some aluminum and we're gonna set it in the fridge until we're ready to drop them in the grease all right, so now we're going to just cut up our chicken. We're going to cut them up in nice size pieces. Boom. We're going to season it. So we're going to season it basically with the same things we season our fried chicken with so some onion powder some garlic powder some 
some all-purpose seasoning. Some adobo. Some complete. Some complete seasoning. A lot of that. Some black pepper. I'm gonna transfer on this plate. We're gonna add in some jerk seasoning. And we just gonna mix it up. Oh, it's so satisfying. Boom. Okay, this is how it should look. And then we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna work on our peppers. Okay, y'all, so this is what the pepper should look like once you got them all cut up. And we gotta set those to the side. All right, I'm gonna turn my eye on to get it hot. And we are going to put in some vegetable oil for our noodles so they don't stick. And we are also going to put some salt in our water. And we gotta let that boil. And then we're gonna add in our noodles. All right, now we're gonna work on our chicken. Let's turn that on. Add some butter. Come on. There we go. Okay. We're gonna add in our chicken. Yes, ma'am. And we're gonna let this cook and brown up. Period. So y'all, the chicken is starting to brown up and cook through. We're gonna let it cook a little bit longer. And just give it a little toss. It smells amazing. So while that cooked, the grease in the back for our chicken is starting to heat up and our water for our noodles is starting to boil. I'm gonna give it about like three more minutes. Right, let's cook this. Chicken is done. Let's take it out. And then we're gonna saute our peppers in the same sauce. And we're gonna let these kind of sweat a little bit and cook down because we don't want our peppers tough. We want them kind of like limp. So I'm gonna let them do their thing and we're gonna work on our noodles. y'all so i got my chicken this is it it marinated for like 15 minutes 
and that's good and then we're gonna just drop it inside of our flour our grease is hot already if you ever want to know if your grease is hot just sprinkle a little bit of water in it and it should start like sizzling if it's not sizzling it's not hot so just drop some chicken in here and no i don't season my flour sometimes i do sometimes i don't but i know like this chicken is seasoned to perfection so i don't want to over season it and then it be salty so Give it a little shaky shake. And we're gonna shake the excess flour. That's how you get it crispy. You don't want all that extra flour in there. And you're gonna just drop them in there. And I got this on medium heat, so if you put it on high, it's gonna burn. And if you put it on low, it's gonna cook too slow. So you want it right on medium. Okay. All right, y'all. So the peppers are limp. How oh, I like them. And they're going to get even more limp as they continue to cook. Look, we got some heavy whipping cream and this is how we're going to make our, our fredo sauce put that in here and we're going to pour a little bit more we're going to give it a little bit of this we're going to stir it up a little bit And we are also going to season this, you guys, because we don't want no bland food. So we're going to put our all-purpose seasoning. Everything you season the, ch the chicken with, we're going to season the Alfredo sauce with. Boom. We're gonna get out another little bit of a stir. We're gonna let that heat up a little bit and turn that up a little bit. Alright, now we're gonna flip our chicken. Look how beautiful that looks. And we're just going to let it continue to cook. Alright. We are about to drain these noodles. They are done. Alright. Our sauce. It's getting thickened, and now we're about to add our cheese in. So we're gonna add our Monterey Jack cheese. And this is what's gonna thicken the sauce. Give it that creamy Alfredo look. And it's gonna taste so good. Put some of that. And some Parmesan cheese. And we're going to get out a little mixy mix. Lord Jesus. Cheese getting thick. We have to add a little bit of heavy, more heavy whipping cream to thin that out. Mm. 
Oh my God, why does junk keep popping up at me? This looks amazing. look if you want to add a little bit more jerk seasoning in there you can but i don't want it too um spicy because even the mild is a little spicy i tasted it on the chicken and y'all know i'm not just cooking for me i'm cooking for me and my baby we're gonna get these chickens another toss put those Cooking on that side. Put our noodles back in. bit of a mix. And we're going to add our chicken back in. And that's how it should look. That is done. All right, so the chicken is done. And this is what you want it to look like. Nice and golden brown. And you just gotta fry it a little hard. You know, let it go for longer than what you would normally fry a chicken for. And that's how you get that golden brown look. y'all so the food is done and this is what it looks like that's the rasta pasta and this is my golden brown chicken wings and so we about to plate this up okay Yes, sir. Yes, y'all. Get into it. Get into it. So this is the Rasta pasta and the fried chicken. And so yeah, y'all, we about to smash up. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this little recipe and let me know if you will try it out yourself. But that is it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Peace.